Hey folks, we're now on our last video about the division of algebraic fractions and I have given this to you, this problem over here um, in the last video and then th in this video we're going to answer this right now. And what we have is, I'm, I'm just going to read it again, we have 10x squared all over x squared minus y squared divided by 5x all over x minus y. So first up, we're going to get the, the reciprocal of this divisor here and we write it as this so we're going to write the dividend as it is first so what we have is 10 x squared all over x squared minus y squared times x minus y all over 5x and then what we will do is as we can see here in this um the denominator of our first term this is or we can apply the difference of two squares over here okay, clearly so we have a perfect square and a perfect square and we have um, a minus sign an operation so we, we can apply the difference of two squares here and if we do that what do we have what we'll have is so we'll have 10x squared oops 10x squared 10x squared all over so we have x x squared minus y squared so what we have is x plus y x plus y times x minus y and then times x minus y all over 5 over x all over 5x rather and then um, i think we can put them in a single fraction right now and if we do that we have this 10x squared times x minus y then what we'll have in the denominator is oops, <laughs> um, x plus y times x minus y times 5x and then clearly we can cancel something up some things shall we say so x minus y can be cancelled clearly the 5 here in the, as the coefficient can be cancelled up. They're both multiples of 5, so we can get the greatest common divisor, or the least common multiple, rather, which is 5. And then what we'll have is 2 here, and then it will become 1 here. And then the x can be cancelled up, and then cancel the 1 square, that 1 x here. So in essence, we're cancelling the square. Okay, so what is left after this um, things, all the things that we have done? What is left? What is left? Um, let me write it down. Okay, so what do we have? Um, in the numerator, it's very clear that we have, what, only x left? Or rather, 2. We have a coefficient, which is 2. So let's write 2x. Okay, we have 2x. And then in the denominator, what is left is this binomial, x plus y. x plus y. Oops. So yeah, that's it. This is this is it for this video. Um, quite short, but at least we have answered the uh, the the exercises or the ass assignment that I gave in the last previous video. So yeah, okay. This will be our last video for the division of fractions, unless I'm going to give more examples in the future. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.